got a melodic beginning to the whole solo. And what I did at the beginning was I did this octave thing. So I'm sliding into the 11 and the 3. And I hit it the octave of that was on the 14 of the first string, of course. With vibrato to taste. So a little bit of bending on the 14th uh, fret there, but uh, just doing a half step. Some trilling going on there, so we got 15, uh, 14, 15, 14, and then sliding to the 12, so, and then hammering on the 14, 12, 11 on the first string, and then uh, a little vibrato there, so again, the whole thing. So, um, and as you probably noticed with the vibrato, sometimes I'm using my fingers, sometimes I'm using the, uh, the vibrato, and I'm not sure, I think what happened at some point, instead of using the whammy, I think one day I just couldn't find my whammy bar, and uh, decided to just start grabbing the system itself, and, and it's just actually become more comfortable for me, so now I don't even use the bar anymore, so kind of strange, but uh, true story, so. <laughs> There, um, quite simply, on the second string goes. So basically, just the, the notes that I'm using are on the second string. Um, it's going to be 13, 12, 13, 15, back down, and then landing on the 14 of the third string. With all the, all that stuff together. Then after that, I'm doing a little tapping thing, which I really very rarely do. Um, but in this song, it seemed to have a little bit of a call for it, so I did it. So it goes like this. And then switching to the second string. So quite simply, all I'm doing with the, the left hand is at 12, 15, 17 tapping on the 19 and fluctuating between the 19 and the 20. And then on the second string, the same idea. And then sliding at the end from the 19 to the 20, so. How did I develop my picking style? It's kind of a weird thing because I never had it, like I mentioned earlier on, um, there, we, nobody really had any instruction, you know, cause I, I lived in a small town outside of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And, um, you know, this was late seventies, early eighties. And, uh, again, yeah, we, there was no instructors or videos or anything that we can bounce off of, you know, you should play like this or do this, or do that. So it was just kind of, again, just learning from the next guy who didn't have a clue as well. So, um. But I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I felt more comfortable playing with these two fingers. And uh, actually, it's kind of funny because th sometimes when I'm playing certain things, because it changes the, the, the position, of, depending on what I'm doing, will dictate exactly the formation. Sometimes it'll be these two fingers, but mostly it's these two. So, so uh, sometimes it looks like this, and people think I'm doing this purposely, which, of course, I'm not, because that would be really silly. Um, but, you know, most players, as you know, play with these two fingers, the index and the thumb. And, um, but again, like I said, I started like that, you know, it felt right. I just went with it. And then as I get into, you know, my later teens and, um, I started, you know, been playing lead for a little while. Um, you know, I noticed all my, my heroes were, you know, whoever, George Lynch, Ingve, blah, 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 were, uh, everybody was using these two fingers, except for me. The only guy I ever seen actually that used these two fingers is Eddie Van Halen which of course gave me confidence to uh, to go back to that later on. But there was a period where I, I decided to change over and thought, okay, maybe I'm, my plane is, my picking is 
restricted because I'm using the wrong fingers. And then I found out that that wasn't the case after about six months of trying to do that. And then in the end, I ultimately just went back and, um, and just went from there and things progressed. So, um, and I get asked that question a lot where people, you know, how do you pick how, what's the right way to do it? You know, all this palm muting, yada, yada. And there's not one, I mean, there's obviously certain guidelines, but I mean, it's, there's not one particular way that you're going to pick and, you know, you can't deviate from it. That's not true. And there's other players in the industry too. Marty Friedman, uh, tons of players that have different styles uh, of, of picking and, uh, and it works for them. So if it works for you and, and you don't feel like you're restricted in, as far as being able to accomplish what you want to accomplish, then uh, you know, you're probably on the right track as far as, you know, as, far as I'm concerned. I, I've been able to achieve what I want and what I need to by just using the original weird technique that I started with. And, um, you know, it's just, it's been like that ever since. So, um, and one thing I also picked up too was uh, from Vinnie Moore, um, another great player out there um, who's, uh, he, he had demonstrated um, in a video a long, long time ago where um, most players, when they're doing the, the, the alternate picking fast stuff, they use their wrist, which is great. Again, if it works for you, great. But he suggested using your arm. So kind of like, you know, using your, doing that, just kind of making that one piece and just, you know. And I started to incorporate that where when I do the alternate picking stuff, I use my, my arm. So, and his, his outlook was, you know, you, you can play cleaner probably because that's the way it worked for him. And, um, again, that was, you know, it, during that transitional period and I was just trying to find a, a, you know, a clear path forward that I can actually do some damage and, uh, and, and just, you know, try to get in the right track. And uh, so I, I took that one. So thanks, Vinny. And um, that helped to uh, become part of my alternate picking technique. <music>